Hi, welcome to another video. So today I'm gonna try and uh, see if I can find a better power analyzer that uh, doesn't, and maybe has a little more accuracy on the lower current side. So what I have hooked up here is uh, just a current tap and a voltage tap. So right now we're actually measuring the current that the this meter is using down here with 0 0.1, 0 0.01 amps, so 10 milliamps. And then uh, the voltage over here is the tap of the voltage going into this meter as well. And uh, we can see they're they're not quite perfect with each other, um, but they're they're pretty close. It's not too bad. Um, and then I just have a, a kind of a weird load bank set up over here, and uh, it's made out of a bunch of light bulbs and some switches for each of the individual sections. So one thing we can do is uh, we can turn on parts of it. So this is a really really dim LED bulb. It uses really little power, and you can see. You know, we're just barely getting a reading. This is about as low as this meter can read. And it's really not all that accurate here. Even if you just do the math on what it's showing for a power factor current and the, the watts, it, it doesn't line up with itself. So this uh, already shows that this meter is, you know, kind of out of its comfort zone. Um, but one thing we can do is we can go ahead and turn on some more incandescent bulbs. And uh, these are actually 220 volt bulbs, but I have them, you know, uh, couple of them in here just to get a lower powers so we can go ahead and turn on a bunch of these and uh, we can see that you know the voltage is tracking a little lower on here which you'd expect because this is probably measuring the voltage after its internal shunt um, so that voltage and this voltage they're lining up pretty close that's okay um, and we have a little bit of you know cable lead here but it's all pretty heavy duty so I don't think we have much loss there uh, so here we have 1.85 amps here we're measuring 1.82 amps they're pretty close to each other, uh, you know. That power factor one, so the you know it's just the multiple of the two numbers. So these these are tracking very close with each other. That's good enough. Um, go ahead and turn these off. I'm gonna go back down to that really really light load. Turn that off. We'll see. We'll go back down to zero. So one of the concerns with this, uh, push the button. Don't know what that does. Uh, one of the concerns with this thing is um, when you want to measure something that's really low current, like this is just at idle, there's nothing connected to the output. When we plug it in, we'll see there's a real quick current spike. And you can see that we're actually measuring a little bit more input current now. So we're measuring 11 milliamps. So this is using some current, but it's very, very small. And this meter over here is just measuring nothing because uh, it's, it's below its ability to measure. So you unplug that, we see the current goes down a little. We'll plug it back in, we'll see we'll get a little spike, and then the current goes back. So it's, it's not using much. It's, it's, it's using basically nothing in terms of AC power, but it's, it'd be nice to be able to see what uh, idle consumption these these small power adapters are using when they're not really in use. So what I've got is a really inexpensive uh, part that is, uh, you know, we'll see if it's going to fix the problem. Maybe it's going to make it worse. I'm not sure, but... Uh, you can get these, uh, you know, from the usual suspects, eBay, Amazon, um, for very, very little money. Uh, so this one is specifically a 5 amp, um, 80 to 260 volt, 50, 60 hertz uh, power meter. It's very uh, simple. It's got a little LCD. It's got a button, probably the same button as that because these all use a very similar chipset. Um, we just have our connections here. So we have to make a cable to be able to plug this in. And uh, yeah, we should check and see well, what kind of accuracy we get out of this thing. So I have these, this is a little one foot extension cord. So the plan for this is to just kind of cut down the middle and pull out the uh, neutral and line cables and be able to install them inside this meter. I and mean, this is supposed to be installed in the panel, so these these are going to be live. So this is not the safest solution. This should be installed in a little project box or something if you want to use it um, anywhere. But uh, just for testing purposes, this will be good enough right here on the bench. And then if it works out good, then we can get it into a, a good project box and have a nice extra power meter. And hopefully, with that 5 amp range, it'll give us a little bit more accuracy. We can take a look at our data sheet here that's not in English uh, look at this side and so we have our different ranges it says it starts measuring current at 0 0.001 amps which is 1 milliamp which is good uh, should be able to see something then 
Um, start measuring power at 0.2 watts, so that's probably going to be a problem. That's probably too low to get anything useful out of it. And then uh, over here, most of this doesn't make any sense to me at all. Um, accuracy, 1.0 grade. There's no percentage. There's no uh, actual specifications to tell you how this thing, how good this thing is. But for, for less than $20, uh, uh, <laughs> if it's within 2%, I'll be extremely happy. So uh, I don't know how I'm going to break into this cable, but uh, well, let's see what I can do. So this white and black wire are the two wires we want to break out. Go ahead and cut them. I got uh, wire strippers. These have 16 gauge size, which is the size of this wire. Go ahead and strip a little bit of these. I'm not going to put ferrules on these. And technically I should be measuring the voltage on the output side of this and the current on the output side. So I'm not measuring the current of this meter also, but um, you know, we're just going to see if it gets close enough. I can set up a, a little bit of a more accurate display later on, but for now it's just more of a proof of concept. See what kind of leads we got here. So these are the type that will clamp down on the cable. You can see that opening up in there. Obviously, it goes without saying. This is, you know, a dangerous project. If you don't know what you're doing, don't even, don't even get close to anything like this. Um, it's AC. They don't tell us anything about it, uh, so there's probably no rhyme or reason to line or neutral. So we're just going to shove them in there. Sure we got no phrase. Looks pretty good. All right, so there it is. There's our little power meter. So this I was just propping up with a clip here. You can actually just get it right out of the picture now. All right, moment of truth. I'm gonna plug this uh, fire hazard in. See what happens. Nothing. Oh, no fire. That's good. We got no power. We got no current. Uh, it's gonna be pretty hard to read. It's a pretty small screen. Hopefully, you can still read those other meters. Actually, looks a bit easier to read than the. Uh, the usual hoppy meter in terms of, uh, to my eye, the camera might be having more of a, a hard time picking this up. I notice there's less digits on the voltage already. Um, let's see what happens when we plug in that little power brick. See if we get any kind of measurement out of it at all. Oh, there's my meter deciding it wants to turn it off. Turn that back on. All right, got our current, our voltage. Now my multimeter is going to do that too. 
Hey, look at that. So we are getting a reading. It's actually measuring uh, 0 0.03 amps. No watts, but that's okay. Um, that's kind of expected, but at least it is giving us a current reading. So that's telling us that it, we're within a range on the current meter that it, it can actually take a reading. Um, let's take a look at that, the light bulb. So now the currents are actually lining up very good. We got 0 0.006, 0 0.007. Um, that's really good. It's showing a much higher power factor um, for this tiny bulb, but 0.65 watts. Um, it's not, not probably not far off from what it really is. Go ahead and turn on some current, see what we get with some more substantial current. It's looking pretty good so far. Got our one power factor. Uh, it's actually tracking pretty good. It really doesn't look bad at all. It's got a few less digits of uh, precision versus the other meter, but it is. It looks like it may actually be a more accurate meter. Um, so this is going to be able to measure more accurately in that one to two watt range as opposed to the hoppy meter which is uh, miserable down at the really low wattages now what I should do is get a proper power meter um, but you know for the ten thousand dollars it costs for a Yokogawa and the twenty dollars that this one costs um, this is actually looking pretty promising so the one thing I do want to check out is if this uh, measures conventional LED bulbs in a similar way so if we see really low power factors with certain bulbs like I would expect the power factor on this bulb to be a little bit worse than uh, 0.75 so I wonder I'm gonna grab another product and see what I get for that all right so in comes the twisty bulb here I know this had a pretty bad power factor we did actually measure this bulb previously so let's see how this one does all right, Let's see if we can see that. That looks pretty close. And this should slowly creep up to about 13 watts. So one thing this has to do is warm up. It's hard to read on here, but it looks pretty good. The watts are starting to come up as the bulb's warming up. Power factor about 0.65, which is uh, matching previous readings. So that's good. So I think that's a, overall a, a win for, you know, about $20 delivered. Um, it's a really inexpensive um, power meter. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.